Hello everybody, it's me Chris at Probe again on our Friday afternoon chat. This week I want to talk to you about new things. What we get is new ideas, new people, new things that come through the door. Um, something we haven't talked about before, really. Um, new ideas I get, these brainstorms, how long it takes for them to come to fruition, from idea to being ready on sale in the shop. Um, how I go about redesigning stuff and trying to find the right thing um, and new companies that I talk to and deal with because I don't fight with the competition if they're nice people I'll help them and they'll help me so you know competition's always healthy so here we go now first of all I've showed you these little this is my latest newbie thing coming out on our shop and website it's my palm pads, everybody been waiting eagerly for these. Pretty simple little tool is slip them on and you can do your pad work, warm your boxer up, you know, whatever. Um, st straight on, finish warming your boxer up, off, stick them in your pocket, you know, go and do the corner. Um, the reason I got that idea, being that shows upon shows for the last 30 years or so, is that as a trainer and a coach, I see loads of coaches warming the kid up with their hands, bump, 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 you know, because they can't be bothered to put a big pair of pads on. Now, obviously, these little things are just to protect your hands because your hands do get battered and sore and injured being a coach doing pad work. Um, they're so light, easy to use, and I thought a while ago we started using different materials for the padding different ideas for fix, fixing it to your hands do you do it on the fingers do you do it on the palm do you include a thumb piece but at the end of the day we just developed this nice little pad that fits on, onto your palm of your hand nice and curved nice and padded that'll take that sting away when you're warming them up cheap easy little thing it'll probably end up being copied by the masses like all those other big brand names who and boxing people, they're just sports brands and they, and they have to copy it some way. So there you go. On sale now on our website and in the shop, only £20 a pair. Bargain! Right. Now, I've spoke to you before about... For a while now, we've been trying to develop a new boots range for our brand. I've showed you those black and white ones before. The Hyper KO2 lookalikes. Um Everyone's asking when will our new boot range be ready. It's not as simple as you see. Um, I've been using factories all over the world. I've shown you the crappy ones that we've had done in the past. Now these are some that aren't too bad actually. I got these samples the other day from China. They're a nice little boot. Um, lovely material. I'm not too sure about the uh, synthetic paint and leather. But... They're a nice boot, I think, for me, they're very similar to Venom boots. Um, there you go, they come in three colours. The samples, by the way. My favourite colour, the big bright lime one, if you like them. Now, we'll sell these at cost. I mean, they cost me about 60 quid a pair. If somebody likes these boots and they're a size 9, you can come and buy these off me for 60 quid. Um, and then hopefully, if it's Sunday and all, they'll tell me how they perform. And maybe we will speak to the factory and develop them slightly. You may, uh, you know, maybe I'd like a strap over the there to pull the width of the shoe in. Uh, I don't really like the ones around the top because your ankle needs to breathe. And as long as they've got a good sole and they don't weigh too much. Um, that's how we go with developing the boots. It does... I've got more samples coming all the time and probably if they come around every time I get a sample I'll show you them on this channel. This is the latest sample of boots, what do you think? But this is the current one, I'm not 100% on them and like I say I could do with somebody trying them out to give me the read on how comfortable they are. To be honest, I put my hand, they're too big for me, I put my hand in before and they've got really thick insoles so they're going to be very comfy for someone. Um, but I need feedback, basically, whether they're comfy, whether they last long, whether they crack or anything like that with use. So, there we go. 
there's the boots now as for the other thing new companies uh, as you can see here I've got some walls fight gear um, um, his name's Danny he's born in Peru and lives in Milan he's learning the boxing game at the minute um, he comes from a kickboxing background and he, and he makes all the equipment um, I'm sort of helping him along with his professional boxing side of the equipment type of thing at the minute uh, there's a few companies like this popped up obviously Donado's the main one who hand makes things to order and custom sizes and fits and custom colours and small runs of things which are limited edition and it's like luxury artisan end of the game not everything's handmade there's very little that's machine made as a boxing glove or anything like that apart from a few Chinese companies where they're mass produced uh, all, all our stuff is, is handmade by one man with a sewing machine um, so yeah handmade but this is one man one factory who does every item himself um, he sent me these pads over a few weeks ago and we've been checking them out they're a lovely little pad as you can see he's rocking the uh, snake skin on these which is quite popular a lot of people like them they have a zip on them as well so you can change your padding if the padding wears out because obviously they're Italian leather which is expensive um, and they're absolutely beautifully made he's um, he's done a very good job of everything he does I mean if I find anything that can be improved upon he's willing to listen and he accepts that not everything's perfect and it needs to be worked on etc um, his gloves I've got two pairs of 12 ounce gloves here uh, the lace up, he does do velcro as well, he does headgear, he does everything else, actually I've seen a picture on Instagram of um, a belly pad for the kickboxing and I thought it was absolutely stunning uh, the way he used his, his motif in the design of the belly pad, um, beautiful. Now these gloves, obviously again Italian leather which is some of the best leather in the world, as Mr Donato will tell you. Uh, it is beautiful leather. Um, his stitching, if you can see the stitching, is absolutely immaculate. The padding is perfect. It's like, um, if we can see, it's a nice medium pad. Um, now these are a little small for me, they're going to be in a 12 ounce. They're more like a junior boxer's sparring glove. But when you put them on, it's got the nice finger grip inside so you can make a good fist in it and a good grip bar and they are a lovely glove I mean there is a few improvements he's going to make on them um, and they will need breaking in as he's getting them on and, and things like that but as you can see he is learning he's got a good lining in there good padding on the back of the hand and down the, the sides they do weigh 12 ounces or close to so he's getting that part of it right as well and these actually match the the pads <laughs> very much a, a very good set now for Danny um, if anybody wants to buy these things off me they can call me message me buy them I'm not trying to make any profit whatever you pay me for these items I will send back to Danny in full um, to help him grow and get going <clears throat> now as you can see this is something I've never seen before as well there's paint and leather used on a glove and again it's beautifully made um, he, like I say I, I've passed on my opinion of this glove and, he, and you know all he can do is even get even better so walls you've seen it you can get him on Instagram tell him you've come through Pro-Am or if you'd like to buy any of these gloves or pads off us I've got a few pairs of these and these two pairs of gloves, I will pass the money back to Danny straight away. Now alongside Danny, there's um, a Russian guy called Lucky Kharki. You may have seen him on Instagram as well. Now, he does a lot of similar stuff. And I think possibly he comes from a kickboxing background as well. Now, not being picky or anything, Danny's that little bit better with his quality obviously 
he's got a better choice of padding and leather than I would imagine they've got in Russia. Um, although he's got a bigger variety at Lucky Khaki, um, and you can see I've been watching him for over a year now, and you can see his items are improving and improving and improving all the time. So the thing is with Lucky Khaki, his prices are probably reasonable. Um, you probably, you probably, you ring him up or you message him on Instagram, tell him you want a pair of 16 ounce gloves with a lace up or velcro, describe him what colour, what pattern, etc, etc. He'll give you a price, you send him the money or whatever, however you do it with him, I'm, I'm not sure. And you'll get that pair of gloves delivered. Um, but like I say, bear in mind, the leather quality and the padding quality is not quite the same as what you're going to get off Dinardo and and, uh, and Walls. Um, but he seems a bit busier. Uh, go, going on to Dinardo, we all know what Filippo Dinardo is like. He's like the, you know, the godfather of artisan boxing gloves. You get what you pay for. Um, he's the high, high end of custom gloves. You can tell one man, one maker, one does it all himself. Um, the only criticism I would have is expense wise, um, in, in my shop people come in and we still get people coming in expecting to buy a great pair of boxing gloves for £25 in leather. Um, although I do like his equipment and I've actually thought about putting it in the shop here, his two pricing ranges, his, world, his worldwide I think he calls it range would, would probably be about five five fifty. Five hundred pound a pair for the gloves, so I think his top of the range ones go between nine hundred pounds and eleven hundred and fifty pounds, and you get a nice leather bag to go with it. You get what you get for it, to be honest. Um, that is high, high end, and I, I eventually thought it wouldn't sell in the shop. I could buy ten pairs of gloves, and I'd probably take two or three years to sell all ten pairs because of the way things are. People are only just thinking about boxers. Will pay what they what they pay for a pair of gloves. Your average person who buys a pair of boxing gloves, whether it be an amateur boxer or a key fit boxer, stretching over a hundred pound is hard for some of them. So you've got to understand that. Um, we used to sell winning gloves. Apart from the fact you never having enough in stock and you know, the wait time and everything else, I could spend three four thousand pound on winning stock. It'd fill one cupboard. <laughs> um, and that would take a year to sell. People love coming and trying it on and sniffing it and feeling it and what have you. Um, and although it is very, very good hard wearing and nice, it's unique, everyone's tried to copy it and they can't copy it. It's um, expensive, you're probably looking for £500 for a pair of gloves. Not everybody can afford four or £500 for a pair of gloves. They probably only last as long as our 50 quid club range but a lot of people fashion wise like having that winning logo on saying that don't be an idiot and buy knockoff winning grant accessory you can get on ebay from pakistan the nearest thing to to the real thing they are is the logo and nothing else the the quality of the leather is far far worse um you probably open it up and you're you're getting a, a single layer of um Recon foam for the padding and the cheapest velcro or laces they can fit in it and Although you think you're getting a bargain for, for a pair of 700 pound gloves for 50 quid You're not even getting 50 quid's worth to be honest. So don't go down the fake route, whatever um, I mean a lot of big brands have tried to copy winning um, I know of one of the biggest brands out there at the minute that we sort of push against no names we used to sell the stuff and don't anymore because they don't think it's worth the money um, they've done an exact copy of the groin guard and an exact copy of the, the head guard and I think they've copied the pads and a few other things as well um, the gloves are their own um, but why would you pay £200 for gloves made in China of synthetic materials that costs seven pound twenty-five to make. You work that one out. Um, 
So, expense wise, now these, I think Danny's looking about 90, 95 pound a pair for the, for the pads and about, he'll tell me if I'm wrong, but 120, 150 for the gloves. Now the best way I can describe them, they're a typically Mexican type of glove. They've got that natural latex feel medium padding, um, like a canvas type lining so it's nice and soft. Um, and the roomy inside to take a lot of hand wrapping. Flattish punch surface like a Mexican style. Um, but they've got more of a, a European style thumb, which is a good thing. Um, but all round, they feel like a Mexican glove when they're on. And cheaper than most Mexican gloves. And to be fair, just as good, if not better. So that's walls. So let's check out him. Have a look at Lucky Kaki. Um, and like I say, with Donato, beautiful stuff, made of the same leathers. Uh, but expensive really expensive and like I say um, for me personally as a businessman it doesn't it doesn't bode well for me to spend four or five thousand pound on stock of such small amounts that sit in a cupboard or on display for a year or two before this, that it's sold out whereas I can spend four or five thousand pound on my stuff fill all that and under here as well and it's gone in a few months so and people are much happier paying 50 to 90 pounds for high quality gloves like we have than 500 pounds for winning a thousand pounds for Donado um, 200 and plus pounds for other big brands who are just brands than not boxing people so there you go, that's our new oops, that's our new idea for this week, or well, for this month even. Um, so we spoke about the palm pads, get them bought, even if you just want to use them at home, multiple uses for those, can't go wrong for 20 quid. Um, that's where we are with our boots at the minute, we are where we are, taking our time so we get the right boot that's unique and different to everybody else's. And that's my take on new people like Danny at Walls. Like I say, you can either get these off me and I'll send Danny the money over or contact him through Instagram. He's on there. Walls Fight Gear. You'll get him easily. Uh, he's a lovely chap. He'll deal with you. He'll enjoy talking to you and he'll help you out no end. And as I've said, the quality's there. And value for money. What can I say? Uh, Lucky Kaki, same thing. Speak to him. He's on Instagram. If you like his kind of thing, try him out. I mean, for that kind of money, you, you can't go wrong, can you, to be honest. So, there you go. That's my little thing for this week. Hope you enjoyed this one. As usual, something different again. Me next week, who knows, we might have something even more different. Maybe we'll have one of our boxers come in and have a chat and tell you I'm not just bullying you all up. All our stuff for the best. Um, it is what it is. And please like subscribe press the button ring the bell do the thing passes on to your friends we still need more followers get them algorithms going um, by the way Simon at fit to box is testing these now as we speak and so soon make sure you watch Simon give an evaluation on our little palm pads um, if anybody else comes up and in the meantime they've copied us because um, we've been doing them for a while now so that's the end product get on our website www.proamboxing.co.uk i'm sorry for people i must mention we had a bit of a glitch uh, last week and the week before we've now got a brand new better website up and running it's easy to use with nice pictures on get onto that one and get something bought if you buy something on that you're in the free monthly prize draw so a free gift as well good luck and i'll see you next week